Hello, welcome to Informatica Support. Uh, myself is Arvind Kate. I'm a senior software engineer here at uh, Informatica. So, in this video, we will discuss about the concurrent updates uh, in projecting tools. So, actually, we brought these new features in uh, MDM 10.5. So, let's walk you through this. So, agenda for this uh, today's video will be like uh, prior to MDM 10.5 projecting tool. And from 10.5 onwards, what are the changes we brought in the projecting tool with respect to the concurrent users and how the concurrent uh, updates uh, can be done in the projecting tools. Uh, we will go through with the demo section, then followed with the question and answer section. So prior to MDM 10.5, so previously, like whatever the configuration tasks which are performed from the users concurrently, right? so those operations were not saved. So only one user operation was saved at a time. Suppose if you have multiple users and performing the same operation on the projecting tool, then the user, whichever has saved the latest, only that information will be saved. So from 10.5 onwards, like uh, you can uh, use the multiple users. Well, multiple users can concurrently perform the operation on the um, on the projecting tool side, such as like adding or modifying two different business entities. They, both the users can parallelly they can add uh, or modify any business entities like uh, adding the column, deleting the column, modifying the layout. There's so many things like. So one thing like how uh, like any users can have the admin credentials, the uh, those people can perform the activities on the project tool, right? Like same way in the 10.5 also, it will you need to follow the same uh, steps. Like the user should have the admin privileges so that they can have access to the project tool and they can do the necessary modification. So this one is a very small topic. So we will uh, we'll cover more things on the demo section so that you will understand how the how concurrent user can perform the operation at the projecting tool side. So let's move on to the demo section. So for this demo, I have created two users. One is the test user and one more is the demo user. So both users I have given the admin privileges and assigned the, all the necessary roles. So with those users, I will concurrently log into the provisioning tool uh, in the browser, like uh, parallel both the use uh, both the provisioning tool I will show at a time. I will try to modify one user operation, and in the at the same time, I will also modify for another user also. So both the user modification I will try to save, I will try to publish and save at a time. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So this is my brand new MDM instance ten dot five. So I'll show the version. So you can see it. So it's a 10.5. Okay. So for the for this demo purpose, I have created the two users. Oh, let me connect to the users. So, yeah. so one is the demo user and another is the test user. So and I have sent this to the MDM sample because we are going to perform the operation on the MDM sample. And one thing you need to consider the same like how in the previous versions uh, to access the uh, Provisioning tool, the user should have the administrative privileges. So you need to give the administrative privileges and you need to assign the proper roles and uh, uh, proper roles for those users to access the components and other things. Okay. So I have given everything, uh, just you can see roles for managers and senior managers. So we can see in the users and group, yeah, so you can see right, admin and the demo user and the test user, so I have sent to this one. Okay, I have logged into the project tool with two different users. So let me try to modify concurrently. So just I'll go to, yeah, I'll just try to delete one of the columns so that we can, you can see. So just I'll delete this last name, okay? I'll publish the changes. So now let me log into the 
another application using the test user. Let me see this uh, modeling. Business entity, person. Yeah, if you see the display name, right? So if you see the display name, if it is uh, still showing. But when when uh, when we perform the operation with the demo user, the display name has been deleted from the backend. Okay. So this is how the concurrent will work. But just to the thing is, this is not at all, not at all showing just for the browser cache purpose. So what we'll do, so just we'll log out uh, this test user. So we'll go to the business entity modeling. The entity, person, fields, yeah, you can see right, there is no last step here. Yeah, this is how we bought the new features, whereas concurrent users uh, can modify the approaching tool only thing is just uh, in this demo i can't uh, directly show both the users uh, at a time uh, so that i have uh, i have to open i have to open two windows and to perform the operation credit but but in real time scenario like when the but uh, when the users are performing concurrently when the both the users are performing the operation on the same column or the same uh, field or same layout in that case whenever the user has modification done for one particular business entity, that changes should reflect to the another user. So until and unless that user should log out and log in back, or maybe if, if he started with a new session, then the changes will the then the changes whatever done from the user one will uh, reflect to the user two. Okay, for this demo purpose, I have just shown the like uh, for the sample uh, use case, like just for deleting the deleting the column from the business entity the same operation can be performed across all the across all the provisioning tool uh, application maybe you can change the layout or some other user will modify the business entity side some other user will change the layout side so both operations uh, will be taken okay that's all about the demo section so you can go through with the reference guide provisioning tool configuration guide 10.5 you can uh, you can download this uh, guide you can go through this one or if, you, or if you want, like whatever the changes has been done in MDM 10.5 version, then you can download MDM 10.5 what's new and change the, the document. You'll get more information related to what are the new features we brought in MDM 10.5, the project tool, apart from this concurrent user's uh, modification. Okay, that's all about this video. Uh, so we'd love to hear from you. So you can uh, write support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us. Uh, twitter.com slash info support thanks for your time and watching this video see you in the next video thank you